Hey, hello, welcome to another video. My name is Paul and you are watching Wondershare Dr. Phone. And in today's video, we're gonna help you if you have any sort of issues with your iPhone 15 screen. That could be an unresponsive screen, flickering display, or any other problems you might be experiencing. But before we get into today's video, we wanna tell you a really excited about our new update to Wondershare Dr. Phones 13.5. It's packed with some awesome updates and we're giving our user interface a complete makeover and revamping our Mac version for an even better experience. Plus, we're introducing cool AI features that let you generate stunning wallpapers and music. And that AI wallpaper feature is already out, so go ahead and give it a try and let us know what you think. But if you're new to the videos here, then why not subscribe to the channel turn the notification bell on as well so you don't miss a video. And let's get into today's video. Before we get into the big part of today's video, it's really important you understand why you might be experiencing issues with your iPhone 15 display. And there are numerous reasons why there could be issues with that display. The issues could be the following. It could be something to do with abnormal heating because your iPhone 15 is like any electronic device. It can have excessive heat sometimes when you're using it. And this could be a reason why your iPhone 15 is having those display issues. Next is water exposure and your iPhone 15 might have unexpectedly encountered water moisture, whether from rain, a spill, or an accidental dip in the pool. Water can get into those phones, and of course it is water resistant, but not waterproof. And this can cause sometimes green line problems on your iPhone display. Sometimes you have some system issues and it has software conflicts from outdated firmware or a glitchy app. It can disrupt your phone's normal functionality, and these disruptions can easily manifest as screen glitches. And one of the most common reasons is you have a faulty piece of hardware where that display has come damaged or broken and it might need to be replaced or fixed but they are the reasons why you might be having those faulty problems with your display right now we understand what could be causing those problems with those glitches or faulty displays let's get into some of the remedies that we have and in this video the remedies we're going to show you are nice and simple so just follow the next steps and let's give you our first fix let's deactivate auto brightness first and sometimes this can help so let's learn how to do it first of all head to the settings app now scroll down and tap on accessibility here press display and text size and toggle off the auto brightness option this sometimes weirdly can fix a faulty iphone display so give it a go but if that hasn't helped then maybe follow the next step weirdly insufficient storage can actually cause problems with your iphone's display don't look at me it just happens so Follow the next step and we'll show you how to fix this. First thing to do is go into settings, then tap on general and iPhone storage. Here you'll see a breakdown of how your storage is being used. Take a look at the apps that are taking up most space. Find any app you don't need. Go ahead and then delete them by tapping that delete app option. And this might just fix those problems. But if not, don't worry because we have even more. And the next one is if your iPhone screen is having to do too many effects. So for example, you need to enable reduce transparency and this can help your phone run smoothly. So head to the settings app and scroll down and tap on accessibility. And this is where you can find options to enhance your device's usability. Within accessibility menu, scroll down and look for display and text size. Make sure you tap on that and find the option that says reduce transparency. Reducing this transparency can sometimes just help your iPhone run a little bit smoother and stop any of those screen glitch issues on your new iPhone. But if none of these options have helped, then one of the best things to do is force restart your phone. There's nothing better than turning on and off a phone or a piece of hardware to get that fix sorted. So this is how you do it. Quickly press and release the volume up button. Follow it by then quickly pressing and releasing the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Release the button when you see the Apple logo and the phone will restart. And that should fix some of those problems that you might be having with your display. But if it hasn't, there is one bigger option that you can do. And that is to reset all the settings on your phone, wipe it 
and start from afresh. And this is one of the big things that can help fix an iPhone's display if it's having problems. So let me show you how to do it. It doesn't take long, but it will wipe everything on that iPhone. Open the settings app and tap on general. Inside that general menu, scroll down to the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. On the following screen, press reset and choose reset all settings from the available options. Now pop in your passcode again and press reset all settings to complete that process. This will take a little bit of time, but hopefully once you've set your phone back up again, it will fix any of those screen issues you were having on your iPhone 15. If you've given all of the solutions that we've just given you a try and you're still having problems and you feel a bit lost and you're thinking, well, what else can I do? Well, there's still an option for you to try. We of course have our Dr. Phone software and this can help you when you have problems with your display and it having those sort of issues. So why not give Dr. Phone a try? With Wondershare Dr. Phone, you can tackle a wide range of iOS systems effortlessly. In fact, it's capable of resolving over 150 different issues and it does so without risking your data. Whether you're dealing with screen glitches, like we've mentioned, a frozen iPhone or any other iOS issues, the tool has got your back. So follow the next steps to use Wondershare Dr. Phone to hopefully get your phone back up and running. To get started, you need to go to the Dr. Phone website and of course follow the instructions to download the tool and once it's installed click on the toolbox option located on the left side of the interface and after that simply choose system repair from the main screen then afterwards connect your iOS device to your PC or Mac using a cable next click on the iOS repair option to begin repairing your iOS system then following this select the standard mode to set a mode for the process after that, activate recovery mode on your iPhone to proceed. If your iOS device is abnormal and unresponsive and unable to enter recovery mode, click on the guide button for a step-by-step -step instruction manual. After activating recovery mode, the tool will start showing the firmware for your device to install the right firmware. Simply click on the download button once you've seen this. Once the firmware is downloading and verified, you can press the repair now button to start the process. And once everything wraps up successfully, just tap the done button. And hopefully this will fix any of those problems you are having with those screen glitches on your iOS device. Now we've given you those remedies to fix the issues, but how about some tips to make sure you never have issues with your iPhones because no one ever wants to have an issue with their day to day device. So the next following tips could actually stop you having those screen glitch issues even to start with. First of all, you need to keep your device cool because exposing your iPhone to extreme heat or cold for prolonged periods can lead to performance, including those green screen glitches. Next is to make sure you get a high quality case for your iPhone because a good case not only safeguards your device, but can also provide additional heat dissipation, reducing risk of overheating. And as we know, water is the enemy of iPhones and iPhones might be water resistant, but they are not waterproof. So if you ever drop your phone in water, make sure that you dry it thoroughly quickly because sometimes that moisture can linger in devices and create those glitches. Keep your iPhone software up to date. It's really simple and easy, but Apple releases updates to fix bugs and enhance performance. And sometimes outdated iOS software can lead to glitches. And when it comes to charging and using accessories, opt for Apple official products or reputable third party brands. Low quality or counterfeit accessories can damage your device and lead to problems. So make sure you trust the cables that you put into your device. And that is everything for today's videos. We've given you some fixes for those issues that you could be having with your iPhone 15 display. Of course, one of them was to use the Dr. Phone software. And if you do want to download this, then have a look at the link in the description that can take you right there. And we are, of course, updating it to 13.5 to have some amazing AI features. And you can already go and use one of the new features with its new AI wallpaper creation tool. So go and have a look at that. Hopefully in this video, we've fixed your display problems. And we've also given you those tips to make sure you don't have those problems. So if you enjoyed the video, why not give it a like? Let us know any of your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell as well. And if you do all of that, we'll see you in our next video.